Hey guys, Ketan here, back with another video from beginner level of CodeChef. And the problem that we are going to be solving today is primality test. So the problem code is PRB01, right? Uh, so let's get into the problem statement. Alice and Bob are meeting after a long time. As usual, they love to play some math games. This time, Alice takes a call and decides the game. The game is very simple. Alice says, says out a number and Bob has to say whether the number is prime or not. Bob as usual knows the logic since, uh, but since Alice doesn't give Bob much time to think, so Bob decides to write a computer program. Okay, Help Bob uh, accomplish this task by writing a computer program which will calculate whether the number is prime or not. So guys, this is very simple. We, j we get the, this is test cases and then in each test case we get uh, a number and then we have to check if the number is prime or not right if it is a prime we print s otherwise print no so yeah that's very simple i'll just write the code uh, this shouldn't be tough to follow now we got the n value uh, we took the test cases and then we we are getting the n value in each test case now what do we do uh, for i in range of 2 comma n plus 1 right because uh, oh no uh, it's just n because we don't want to include n, n, plus, uh, n right uh, if n percentile i is not uh, sorry is equal to 0 then we just print no right and also break it else we print yes now here there's this case for what if n is 2 we can just write it if n equal to equal to 2 If n code not equal to 2, it will go there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is kind of messy, but uh, it's not. Doesn't really matter. It's just one statement, right? So it's, it's fine. I guess. I guess. Yes, yes, no, no, yes. There we go. Right. So, guys, uh, uh, I think you guys know what a prime number is. Okay, I'll just explain what a prime number is. Uh, let's say we take number uh, 29. Right, so okay let's take a smaller number let's say seven now wh what numbers with what numbers can we divide seven with well we can divide it with one right we can't divide it with two uh, because we won't be getting a whole number we have to get a whole number right that's the point of prime numbers and then with with three no with four no with five no with six no with seven yes right so a prime number is a number which can be divisible by one and itself and now no other number can divide it right so that's basically what a prime number is and what this percentile symbol does it gives a reminder right so if we divide seven by two then what do we get <coughs> two threes are six right so we get reminder as one okay if we do it with 3, 3 2s are 6, again 1, right? If we do it with 4, uh, 4 1s are 4, remainder is 3, right? So, if remainder is 0, it means that it is perfectly divisible. If 
remainder is anything else uh, anything except zero then it's not perfectly divisible right so if it is zero then it means it is divisible and we don't want it to be divisible uh, between 2 and uh, n right because 1 and itself are are excluded uh, from this rule so yeah that's what we are representing over here so you guys can check out the for else loop uh, uh, syntax uh, you might be confused with the syntax what this else statement is basically saying is if the for loop is executed naturally without any breaks any external breaks then uh, this statement will be executed okay here we are uh, using a break right if this condition is executed then this won't happen because we have already said no right we don't want yes to have print after we print no right so that's what's happening in the for else okay right thank you guys uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hit the like button if you like like the video and uh, feel free to share it with your friends so that they can also learn something uh, yeah subscribe for uh, further content thank you guys